New at 10, some Oakland students are finding new interest in an old art form. As KTVU's Jenna Katsuyama reports, they are working with a retired teacher who's made quilting into a lesson that goes beyond simple stitches. The sound of sewing machines isn't just about stitching at this downtown Oakland studio. For these high school students, it's also about mathematics. I really like the colors. The colors like made it pop. What is this going to be? It is going to be a quilt. Quilting might not be on most teenagers' to-do lists. But twice a week, they come to meet their mentor, Wendy Lichtman, a retired math teacher who years ago started the classes after facing a problem she wanted to solve. I had a student five years ago who said, I, I'm not, I don't get it. I flunked geometry three times. I'm not going to graduate. That's it. Forget it. I'm never going to graduate. And that's when Wendy Lichtman's love for her students led to a brilliant idea, putting two and two together, teaching math, through quilting. And I said, wait a minute, what do you think about doing hands-on geometry? What do you think about if we start quilting and you learn, because it, it does so much with measurement and shapes and um, ratio and proportion, it's living geometry. And she went for it and my principal went for it and then I've had 10 kids a year do it. Wendy says it's been a joy showing students the common threads between math and quilts. Well, not very many 15-year-olds care that two parallel lines are crossed by a transversal. No, they don't really care very much about that. But right here are two parallel lines, and these are transversals, and they are at a 90-degree angle. And it feels real. you got to get it to look right. Her student interns plot their projects on graph paper, then do multiplication and measurements to put the pieces together. I love the whole process of it, and I love quilting itself. I think it's a beautiful form of art. It's geometric shapes that need to tessellate and do, there's a lot of measurements. Students take their work home to share with their families and the quilts also are donated to kids at Children's Hospital and foster children in the Bay Area. This is my first pillow I have ever made. It just brings out a lot of shapes and colors and I really enjoyed it. Like from starting and finishing it. It feels good that it's going towards um, people who need it. Each quilt, a lesson in math, learning, and life. <laughs> in Oakland, Jana Katsuyama, KTVU, Fox 2 News.